Hi, this is Yvette Vanderbrink with Vanderbrink Auctions, and we are up in Sabin, Minnesota, doing inventory for the Jeff Jones auction, which will be July 19th. And it never fails. It's cold and windy and stormed last night. Uh, but we're going to give you a preview of this auction, which has a lot of Fords, memorabilia, toys, antiques, and collectibles, along with some very interesting Ford cars and parts. This is a 1968 Ford Mustang Bullet conversion a clone. He bought this for his wife Cheryl's birthday, and it'll be offered on the auction. When Jeff was picking up an engine for his wife's Continental, he, he was at a salvage yard and noticed this train at the yard. This was from the Como Park Zoo and does not have the engine but has all three traveling cars and this was a kitty car. It was on tracks in St. Paul at the Como Zoo. What a really unique and rare find. He brought this home and it's been on display in his yard. This is a 1946 Ford convertible and you wonder why it's multicolored. This is based on Jeff's hot rod that he ba had back when he was in high school in 1963. He put it together with many parts and that's why it's multicolored. And uh, it's a flashback to when he was in high school. This is a 1940 Ford sedan delivery. Very nice car. This is one that Jeff restored. And uh, he found this by Parker's Prairie. It was about 90% complete, and uh, they used this, took this to shows. This does have a, a flathead V8 with three carbs. This is a rare right-hand drive Argentine Model A Phaeton, and uh, he found this one and uh, was in the process of going to be restoring it, and again, a very rare car. One of the gems of the auction is this 1932 Model B Coupe. It is an all-steel coupe, and uh, this is your, your vintage hot rod. When uh, Jeff and Cheryl were on vacation out in Washington, they spotted this car while they were going through Montana. They are driving a Volkswagen, loaded the body on the car, and brought it back to Minnesota, where he restored it. It does have a, a Pinto four-cylinder drivetrain, he put that in there because during the 70s and the gas crunch, he could have a hot rod and good mileage. But this runs and drives, does need a little brake work, but really, really a cool vintage hot rod. This is a 1964 Sunliner. This is an original car and it's a convertible. Again, this is a very rare piece. Most of the time when you find these, they uh, are in rougher condition. But this is an original car, and uh, what a cool find. This is a 1949 Ford shoebox Ford convertible, and appears to be an original car. It does run, but talk about a clean survivor. This is an original car. Jeff was always into the hot rods and uh, liked to go fast. And this was a started project. This is an Angelia Gasser. It is a rolling chassis. And uh, he did put rails on it, but uh, there is no motor transmission. But a rare car and a good one that you could put back to restoration. Again, this is a rolling body. Also on the auction, we have antique toys and also an assortment of pedal cars for restoration. We also have a bunch of signs and memorabilia and that will be auctioned too. You could kind of tell Jeff was a Ford guy. We also have an assortment of parts and tools. We're looking at more of the Jeff Jones collection. 
We also have a huge assortment of promotional and auto bank toys, along with other collector toys. This is Yvette Vanderbrink, and we're sitting with today with Cheryl, and she was Jeff's wife and has decided to sell his collection. Can you give us a little detail about Jeff, why he had so many different things? Well, Jeff was always known to tell people he wanted one of everything, and I think he, he accomplished that in his life. And he had a, he was an artist, and he had a good eye for things, and he got a very good eclectic collection of cars, antiques, antique toys, memorabilia, uh, he was very inventive and creative, and we had a lot of good trips because of it, because of all the places we went to find all this wonderful stuff. Did you ever drive you crazy, hunting all well, over? you know, sometimes I would get a little frustrated, but, you know, when I have my beautiful grand piano, and I thought, that's because I had some 32 Fords <laughs> sitting in my backyard, because, you know, I was able to find realize some little treasures for myself, too, and it just... Lots of times it's the journey to get there, to get the stuff, and we had so many memorable times together that it's always been worth it, And but now there's just too many reminders and it's time to let go. Tell us about that multicolored convertible out there. Well, I, I didn't know Jeff in high school. We didn't meet till we were in our 20s, but uh, the story goes that he wanted this 46 Ford and he bought a red one, but it was missing the front fenders and the, the hood. And of course, uh, being a teenager and, and low on funds, he would go to wrecking yards. Uh, he was living in Hibbing, Minnesota, and he first found the fenders, and they were green, and then all found, finally found the hood, and it was in primer. And, you know, that's about as good as it got, because he just couldn't keep, um, he couldn't afford to paint it or anything or do any body work. And he loved that car so much, and when he knew about the one up in North Moorhead, he wanted to uh, start all over again and get his high school hot rod back. And that's why it's multicolored. What about that 32 coupe out there? There's a story behind that too. That, yeah, it's a wonderful story. That was the, the first really hot rod that we had. And we, it was in 1974, we were out in Spokane at the World's Fair and Jeff had a cousin who lived in Olney, Montana. And while there we uh, were visiting him and we found this body 32 coupe body in whitefish and it was 150 dollars and we didn't have enough cash with us so we gave him 20 dollars down and he let us go back to minnesota and send us the remainder of the money we were driving my little 72 volkswagen with a trailer behind we put that body on it and we took it all the way through the mountains to dilworth minnesota wow. and we did it in 24 hours oh my gosh so it's, it's had a real good beginning it's very sentimental to us and what, what made you decide to sell that car? Just the memories? That's it, more than anything. Uh, my daughter, our daughter was like five years old when it was completed, and she was small enough to fit in the back shelf behind us, or she'd sometimes get in the rumble lid and we'd close it, and she'd be down there with a flashlight playing with her Barbies. And it was just our fun family car. We went to so many swap meets and car shows and just around town cruising, and the rumble lid was just such a bonus for all of us. And now Jeff had an accident, and then that just kind of led to a few of things after the other? That's the thing. He, in 1979, uh, he had suffered an uh, industrial accident. He fell 30 feet um, out at the uh, sugar plant, and uh, he busted himself up pretty badly, and he uh, eventually was just never able to return to work. But keeping those that car hobby alive was what kept him going, too. And that's when he did a lot of the work on the Deuce Coupe, the major part of it and he had innovative ways in the garage to turn the car around so he could get at every angle because he was handicapped with some of his injuries but wow he just kept on trucking on and he just made everything work so that he could keep his hobby going and he did a lot of swap meets it sounds like everybody knew who he was and that he had a lot of ford stuff yeah he was the ford guy and he he was on the phone all the time talking to people all over the country even in foreign countries and we couldn't go anywhere, even to a wedding of somebody of my friends, and he knew somebody there who was a car guy, and he was very well known, not only in the valley, but just in at least the five-state area, and even as far as California and out east, too, people knew Jeff Jones. Wow. And what would you like to tell the bidders? And uh... Well, I'd like to say, please come. We would just love to have you here. 
it's going to be a good time. It's probably going to be a hard time too, but it's something that uh, my daughter and I and my son-in-law and granddaughter, we have to do, we want to do, and we'd love to see you all there and we'll treat you right. And, you know, it's just going to be a good day for all of us. Thanks, Cheryl. Thank you, Leah want to remind you again, this auction is July 19th in Sabin, Minnesota. It's the Jeff Jones Collection. And that was Cheryl and her family, and they really, it's uh, going to be a bittersweet day, but uh, another step in the process. We want you to come out to Sabin, Minnesota. We have collector vehicles, parts, memorabilia, antique toys, just a lot of stuff. Here's a, we got done tagging today, and these are just a, a fraction of some of the Buddy L and Y Dot and uh, even one of a kind toys and we're going to show you a little bit of that. One of the things that I kind of got excited about was we have the Buddy L train and we have it in pieces here right now but we have this Buddy L train and we have many of the cars. <laughs> We also have a Core Core Toys train, and uh, that will also be on the auction. Now, if you can't come to the auction, you can bid online on certain items. There'll be many items that are going to be for only bidders at the auction. If you come to the auction, there is no buyer's premium. If you bid online, you have separate terms, and we can help you with uh, shipping on some items. On vehicles, you buyer is responsible. Uh, just a great variety of things. We want to see you here. The preview is going to be on the 18th, that Friday, at the place here. And uh, it's just really going to be a good time. We start at 9.30 in the morning, and uh, we're going to go all day. Check the website for more information, pictures, and video. And that's at Vanderbrink Auctions with an S, dot com. If, uh, again, if you can't come to the auction, you can bid online at proxybid.com. Make sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter. You'll get more updates on this auction and many others. And on that free newsletter at Vanderbrink Auctions with an S.com, sign up and you'll get all the goodies. And again, make sure to mark down July 19th in Sabin, Minnesota for the Jeff Jones Collection Auction. See you there.